Hey everyone! For a positive integer n, we're going to compute this expression. So basically I'm going to look at it, everything's a times until we get down to this um, division here. So I'm just going to put this in the denominator and rewrite this as uh, negative 1 to the power of 2n plus 1 times negative 1 to the power of 3n minus 1 times negative 1 to the power of 2n minus 1 and this is all divided by negative 1 to the power of 3 uh, to the power of 3n like that alright since these have the same base I can put all this together as negative 1 and I'm going to use my uh, multiplication rule or product rule of exponents. So that's going to be uh, 2n plus 1 plus 3n minus 1 plus 2n minus 1. And we still have this negative 1 to the power of 3n. All right, in the numerator, we're just going to get negative 1 to the power of 7n minus 1 divided by negative 1 to the power of 3n. Now using my division rule, I can write this, since these are the same basis, I can write this as negative 1 to the, 7, to the power of 7n minus 1 minus 3n, which gives me negative 1 to the power of 4n minus 1. Now you can write this as, um, uh, using your division rule again, this can be uh, negative 1 to the power of 4n, divide it by, and this is going to be just negative 1 here. So these, these are equivalent there. Alright, so basically I can write this as, um, let's simplify this as negative 1 to the power of 4 and then to the power of n divided by negative 1. Alright, so basically what happens is any uh, uh, negative 1 to the power of 4 is just 1. So this is going to give you, and I'm going to move it up here so we can keep everything on the same page. That's just going to be 1 to the power of n, and then we have divided by negative 1. This gives you negative 1 to the power of n. So no matter what you put in for n here, if you just look at this using a... Uh, uh, order of operations, um, you're still going to get 1. So 1 squared equals 1, 1 cubed equals 1, it doesn't matter what n, 1 to the negative 2 power is still going to be equal to 1. So this, is go this part right here is just going to equal 1. So you're going to have 1, but you still have this negative that you do after you do your exponents. So our final answer is just going to equal negative 1. And that is your uh, positive integer. Thank you. Have a nice, that is your computation. Sorry, not your positive integer. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.